Okay, hey guys, so today I'll be showing you a video on uh, how to fix your GBA games when they show you that message. So I'll show you now when you start it up. So mostly for the Pokemon ones. So see this battery message? Today I'll be showing you how to fix it, okay? So first what you're going to need is uh, some of these batteries, which um, I'll put a link in the description too. They're, um, I can't actually remember what they're called, but I'll show you. They put, I'll put them in the description. And obviously you're going to need your Game Boy cartridge to fix them. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is, yeah, oh yeah, you also need a screwdriver, a special one to open them up. So you're going to want to open up the Game Boy cartridge case. Actually, you know what, I might put this closer. So you're going to want to open up the uh, cartridge case, obviously. Put the screw somewhere safe, make sure you don't lose it. I've got a magnetic screwdriver, so I just stick it to the screwdriver and put it aside. Then what you're going to want to do is pull down on the case like so. And then what you're going to be able to do is just lift it out. So just be gentle with it after you pull down and it should come straight off like that. Then remove the main board from in the cartridge. So just drop it out and put the case aside as well. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab one of the new batteries. So I, I've got the yellow ones, so I'll just pull one out. So yeah, once you have your battery out, your spare, brand new spare that you're going to use to replace it with, take note of the uh, pins. So on my one, shows you the positives at the bottom and it's a straight pin. Negative at the top and it's the one that comes down. So also take a look at the one on the battery, uh, on the actual Game Boy cartridge. So as you can see, the writing's on this side but it doesn't say positive, so we're assuming this is the negative side. And it also has the part that comes down like the other battery and then the flat part that comes straight out so now to get this off you need to have a soldering iron and you're going to want to hopefully have some solder laying around too just in case you need it and um, what you're going to do is you're going to gently press against the board now i'm sorry if you guys might not be able to see i do apologize in advance but i have to you know do this properly because um, we could break the game if we don't do it properly so yeah what you have to do is just um, make sure your irons heated up already preheated and um, yeah go, go. I, I find this side easier to do first so just gently rub it against all the solder on this side until it starts to melt obviously don't keep it in the same spot because you'll burn the board and um, if you for like if the iron moves off the solder onto the board make sure you take it off as quick as possible or else you'll burn the board and um, yeah, the game won't work anymore. So just take your time with it, it's not a race. Then when it finally starts to liquefy, you're going to want to quickly try and pull the battery up. So make sure you get your thumb underneath it and pull it off the board a bit. Oh, oops, I dropped it back on. <laughs> Try again. So yeah, it's, as long as it's separated from the board, that's fine. So just wait for it to dry before you are, or not dry to cool down again before you drop it or else it'll stick again. So that's good. And now we'll go to the other side and we have to pull this part off too, so... Gently heat it.
Okay, so that one was a little bit harder than expected to take off. So, um, I guess just uh, wait for the board to cool down a bit because you don't want to burn it. So, you just put your iron down as well. Put it somewhere where it's not going to catch fire. And uh, just wait a bit. Because it, it did get fairly hot just then and I can still feel it is fairly hot. So, uh, we don't want to burn the board. We'll just wait a while. Wait a couple seconds, maybe a minute. If you want, you can help it air dry or air cool. So yeah, in terms of solder, I don't know what you want to use. I have a whole ball of it, like a whole roll of it, but I now have little balls that I was just like testing out before and I dropped them onto this thing. So you can just peel them off and um, I'll show you an easier way that I, I found with the balls earlier. Sorry guys, not too sure what happened. But um, yeah, so to put the battery on, just make sure that you've got the uh, positive side, as you can see, facing down. Put it onto the board. Like so. So that the negative goes to the right side of the board and the positive goes to the left. And just gently solder it or put the iron on it until it melts onto the solder point on the board. Make sure you don't get it stuck anywhere else, like I just did. And uh, yeah, just wait for it to cool down and um, do the reverse to put it back into the case, guys. That's it. You know what, guys? I changed my mind. Sorry. Um, I just waited for it to cool down a bit and um, I'll actually show you that it's work now. So if we take a look, it's still there. So we'll just put it back into its case. Seal the case up. Pretty much the opposite way that it came off like so put the screw back in and we get our gba just blow in the cartridge to make sure it's all right you know just for good luck and in the gpa now put the cartridge in, turn it on, and let's see how it goes. Well, we didn't break the cartridge, that's a good sign. <laughs> Looks like it's loading. Let's see if we get the battery message. Oh, it's gone. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, yeah, stay tuned for more, and uh, I might be releasing some new Pokemon videos for the... Um, for the 3DS, but shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Peace.